Once upon a time, there was a little girl and a little boy who lived with their mom and dad. One day, they planted some cucumbers. In three weeks, cucumbers started to grow. They grew and grew and grew. The two children and their mom and dad picked the cucumbers and they took them inside and made them look like a gingerbread, but it was made out of cucumbers. They used the gingerbread man, but <laughs> mold to make the shape. When it was boiled in the pan, it started to walk around the pan. It jumped out of the pan and ran out of the door screaming, oh wow, that water's hot, and his feet were burning hot. He ran across the vegetable patch, he saw a billy goat and tried to eat him, but he kept running, and then he saw a horse, and that tried to eat him, but he kept on running. Next he saw a big bear in the forest that tried to eat him too, but he kept on running, until he saw a big bad wolf. The big bad wolf bit his leg off, but the cucumber man escaped, and kept on hopping. Next the cucumber man met a big hairy spider. The big hairy spider bit off the cucumber man's other leg, but the cucumber man escaped, and jumped on his bum to get away from the big hairy spider. Next he came to a caterpillar who made friends with the cucumber man but the caterpillar went into a cocoon and came out as a butterfly that tried to eat him the cucumber man the cucumber man's legs grew back and he ran on and on and on until he got all the way home to his nice safe pan of boiling water he jumped in and he was eaten sounds like he just suffered his entire life the cucumber man it was this fairy tale created by a six-year-old. Apparently some six-year-old's morbid thoughts thought of a cucumber coming to life, jumping out of the hot boiling water it was being cooked in, went through hell and back getting eaten by mysterious creatures it's never seen before in its life, and instead of being eaten alive, he just decided to suffer in pain and misery in boiling water just to be eaten and killed later on. That is some sick story, six-year-old. Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to a new video where today is fairy tale day. I'm just gonna read you guys some weird ass stories. You can just make up any story you want as long as it's got a middle and beginning in that order. <laughs> Should be all right. Okay, here's one. The mouse, the bird, and the sausage. A mouse and a bird and a sausage all lived together in a beautiful cottage in the woods. Each housemate had a specific job. The bird flew out into the forest to collect wood. The mouse carried water and lit the fireplace. The sausage cooked dinner. Working together like this, they were able to lead a comfortable, if weird, life. One day, while collecting wood in the first, first? I can't read. A bird met an old friend who ridiculed the bird for working so hard while the sausage had and the mouse got to stay at home all day doing nothing. He argued that all the mouse had to do was put fire on and that sausage only had to sit at the stove all day until the porridge was ready. The bird agreed. Instead of going out to work the next day, he told his friends that he didn't want to be their slave anymore and that if they wanted any wood, they would have to go out and get it themselves. The mouse and the sausage were surprised, but agreed to try swapping jobs. With the sausage going into the forest to collect wood, however, the sausage did not return the next day, and the bird to go had to go out and look for him. Soon, he came across a dog carrying the sausage in his mouth. The bird begged him to let the sausage go, but the dog refused, claiming the sausage had been carrying forged papers and killing it instead. To make matters worse, the bird returned home to find that in trying to cook the mouse had jumped into the pot and boiled to death. Enraged, the bird through the wood all about the house, causing the building to catch fire, trying to put it to blaze. The bird somehow managed to knock himself down a well where he drowned. The end. So apparently they switched roles and they all crumbled. So you need to know your role, shut your mouth, and that's about it. <laughs> yeah, don't switch jobs. If all three of you are only capable of doing so much, do your job that can help out and everyone survives. Once upon a time, a strange beggar spent his days kidnapping young girls. This is already horrible. Visiting the home of three sisters, he persuaded the oldest to let him inside. As soon as the beggar touched her, she was forced to jump into his pack. He, what is he, Santa? Like a morbid Santa? He carried her away to his golden house where he promised to give her everything she desired if she would stay and become his wife. In case that wasn't creepy enough, he then announced that he had to leave for a short time, giving her an egg to keep safe and forbidding her from entering one particular room on pain of death. 
After he left, curiosity overcame his reluctant bride-to-be and she entered the forbidden room. There, she found a basin filled with blood and the mutilated remains of dead girls. A large axe and a chopping block lay conveniently nearby. Out of fear, the girl dropped the egg which became covered in blood and could not be cleaned. No matter how hard she tried, when the beggar returned and saw the bloody egg, he dragged her into the forbidden room and chopped her up. He then returned to the house and stole away the next sister, who suffered the same fate. Finally, he returned for the youngest, but this time the beggar had met his match. Suspicious, the youngest sister hid the egg before entering the forbidden room. Discovering dismembered bodies of her sisters, she quickly put the pieces back together, resurrecting them. God, she's powerful. When the beggar returned and saw that there was no blood on the egg, he announced that she had passed the test and would be his true bride. As a wedding present, the girl asked him to take a basket of gold to her father, but secretly hid her two sisters inside the basket instead. She then placed a skull in the window so it would seem like she was watching him, and covered herself in honey and feathers. In order to hide in the tree disguised as a bird, when the beggar and his friends all arrived for the wedding, the girl's brother arrived, locked them in the house, and burned them alive in it. In this Grimm Brothers piece, ooh, you know the Grimm Brothers? Heath Ledger and Matt Damon played the main characters. Heath Ledger and Matt Damon? This is the preview of the movie. I haven't seen this movie in so- God, I'm old. and superstition. This place is haunted by a witch. There were two brothers named Grimm. Your town shall be haunted no more. They were fearless. Shoot, Jack! They were ferocious. Here's your money. Thank you, brothers Grimm. Oh, is she's dead! They were frauds. Get me down! What the hell are you doing? Trying to kill us? I'm getting too bloody old for this. Now, a town under a curse. Ten girls in this village have gone missing. People always knew that the forest was enchanted, but it's never turned against us. Just found their only hope. We're here to save your land from evil enchantments. Papa, they're famous. Right you are, son. The famous brothers Grimm. Look at this strapping young lad. He is my daughter. And a fine wife he'll make some lucky man. Bro, he acts like the Joker without even doing Somebody anything. Knows the fall. <laughs> We cannot fight an entire forest. You're just scared. And why aren't you? You were nearly eaten by a tree. A tree! The queen has stolen your girls for their youth. She needs one more to make her spell work. God, it's so weird we'll seeing him. We can give it a happy ending. It's so weird seeing Heath Ledger do different movies. Yeah, that movie came out in 2005. 2005? Yeah, I was nine years old. Okay, okay. <laughs> Like, I know Brokeback, Brokeback Mountain's a famous movie. But I feel like he's more known for this than Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> he's also... Been, I'm just trying to see all the movies that he's been in. So his filmography is pretty buns. Yeah, okay, yeah. So he's only been... Yeah. <laughs> I'd say Heath Ledger's performance of his career, like, before he died. Brothers Grimm, what we just watched... Dark Knight, everyone knows him as the Joker, and uh, Brookback Mountain. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about Brookback Mountain on my channel right now. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. It's fairy tale day. So just go make up some stories. Go post about some stories. Go read about some stories. Go read about Brothers Grimm if you haven't heard of them. If you haven't heard about them, go check out their fairy tales. They got a whole bunch of them. It's all supposed to be like this dark mystical stuff. But anyway, like I said, I'll, I hope you guys enjoyed it today, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey, this is Urban. Probably leave you hurting. One shot, two shot, three to be certain. See me a butler, better run a cover. Wanna run up on us, boy, you know you going under. Get buck, no luck when you cross us. Get stuck in a rut, can't stop us. Run up on it, gonna get eliminated. We gon' show you how to do it. Join that match and help me demonstrate it.